What up, Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news and merch reviews. And today I have a very exciting merch review for you. This is the Uniglow collaboration of t-shirts. So I'm going to try on all of these. I'm going to give you a review of them and their quality and tell you a little bit about where you can buy them because they still are available online. So these are from Uniglo. They cost $14.90 each USD. Uh, that does not include tax, so you will have to pay tax on top of these, but these are available nationwide as well as in like 80 other countries. So you can find these internationally. You don't have to go to Japan to find these t-shirts. Uh, basically, if you have a Uniglo in your country or if you have a uniglo.com uh, website in your country, then you can get these shipped to you as well. On the day that they released, they sold out online within an hour. Uh, everybody was pretty upset about it. I, on the other hand, decided to go to my local store and they had every single one fully in stock and they had plenty of them to choose from. So I was able to get all of them in my correct size and I was able to have time to try them on there as well. I ended up going back to the store the next day and did a pickup of one of the shirts because it, at first it was not available online. However, after that fact, they did bring it available online. Uh, I guess Uniglo saw how popular these shirts were and then they decided to restock them on the website. They were like, we weren't expecting the popularity of these Sailor Moon shirts. And we were just like, duh, of course you were gonna have a popular shirt. I constantly feel like a lot of these companies don't realize how popular Sailor Moon is overseas. Uh, they just see the popularity in Japan. So they don't plan ahead for that kind of thing. You saw the same thing at the theater when they had Supers and uh, S, the movies in the theater, they sold out. So we're seeing the same thing with the Uniglo collaboration where they're selling out of sizes. So get them as soon as you can because I expect that they will sell out again. So I'm gonna go through each of these different shirts. There's eight styles in total. None of them have names from Uniglo, so I'll just give you a description as far as the name goes. Uh, and then I will try them on and let you know what I think of the size. So I got medium in all of these. I could have gotten a small as well to make it a little bit more fitted, but no matter what size you choose, these are going to be rather boxy, as you can see here. So I'm trying on this first one, which is the Sailor Moon. I'm going to call it the Sailor Moon style. Uh, this first one is a very boxy white shirt. It has a manga illustration of Sailor Moon on it. One of the things that people were really interested in is the fact that these are original Naoko Takeuchi uh, illustrations as opposed to something that's third party. So it's very rare to get licensed products that are in the original manga illustrations. However, these were, and everybody, including myself, was very excited about that. I think that's why, one of the reasons why these are so extremely popular. The colors on here are very bright, very vivid on this white shirt. I think Sailor Moon looks beautiful, and then of course you have Luna right next to her. These shirts are 100% cotton, so I would expect them to shrink a little bit in the laundry if you wash on warm, uh, which was also one of the reasons I chose to go with my normal size, which is medium, as opposed to sizing down, even though it was a little bit more fitted. I really like the design of Sailor Moon on this first one. Again, I thought it was really cool and vivid. Very, very pretty. Also, I wanted to point out the tags on these shirts. The tags are really pretty holographic of the uh, the illustration, the manga illustration from Naoko Takeuchi of Sailor Moon from the more recent publications of the mangas. Uh, on the back of it, you have a Japanese and English translation that says kind of the history of Sailor Moon. It says, a girl's manga by Naoko Takeuchi that began circulation in the monthly magazine Nakayoshi Kodansha in 1991. Book length volumes have been translated into 17 languages while the animated series has been released in more than 40 countries, making it a global phenomenon. The 20th anniversary project began in 2012. A new 25th anniversary project has been in development since 2017, taking the form of new animated works, a musical, and more. An electronic edition of the manga will be released for the first time in the summer of 2019, so that has already happened. Translated into 10 languages, it will be launched simultaneously around the world and increase enthusiasm for the project overall. Okay, so moving on to the next shirt, we have this uh, kind of a lavender colored shirt, and on the front of it, it has a manga illustration again of Sailor Moon. 
Uh, this one is a print from the manga, and at the bottom it says Moon Healing Escalation. Uh, the print is just in purple, and then you have some graphics from the manga, as well as the typeset, which are both in this kind of shiny or sparkly colored pink, hot pink color. I will say, I think that the printing on here is done really nicely. Uh, all of these shirts are quite soft, and I also think that the printing is done in a way that it won't rub off in the laundry, which is appreciated since you get that sometimes with cheaper products. We have another white shirt here. On the front of this one, we have a very, very small uh, art print that says, Give Power to the Holy Grail. And then on the back of it, we have, and this is really cool, a lot of folks in the Sailor Moon community love this one for good reason. Uh, this is a print from a page of the manga and it has a whole bunch of different blocks, and each of these blocks is in a different language. So we have Sailor Moon over here, and that's written in Japanese. We have Korean over there. I think that's French. We have Chinese. That looks like German. And then we also have English, of course, and Spanish is on there. So a whole bunch of different languages is printed on here to show you all the different translations that Sailor Moon has gone into, which is a very, very cool, kind of diverse version of a shirt. The next shirt is kind of a tie-dye color. Uh, this one is very trendy right now. I know a lot of people love the tie-dye. I'm not a huge fan of tie-dye, but it's a Sailor Moon shirt, so I bought it. This one on the front just says Moon Prism Power Makeup, and it's in that same pink font uh, that's very shiny and pretty. On the back of it, we have another full page printout from the Sailor Moon manga, and this one shows Sailor Moon or Usagi originally transforming into Sailor Moon in her surprise at what is happening. This next one is the first navy blue colored shirt that we have, and this one says Seira Moon in Katakana on the front, and it says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon underneath that. On the back we have a color print which shows each of the inner Sailor Senshi along with Luna, and it says we are fighting together five pretty guardians. So each of the different Sailor Senshi is in their respective color, and each of them has their own uh, single square. The other navy shirt that I got is a pretty simple one, but it's really, really cute. This one has a little embroidered Luna with a little music note right above her, and it's on a pocket. So she's hanging out right above a breast pocket, and the pocket has a print of, I would say this is probably Tokyo at night. It looks really, really pretty. It's a very simple shirt, so not much to say about this one. This white one is probably my favorite. This one also has a pocket on the front of it, which says Silver Millennium, and it has a print in gray of the Millennium Palace, the Silver Millennium Palace. And on the back, we have this gorgeous, very large print of Princess Serenity and Prince Endymion, and it shows them in grayscale, but it's very, very well done. Very pretty. I really like that they used the print all the way to the edges of the shirt. I think that really makes it look quality and it's just beautiful. So I can't wait to wear this one. Okay, and the last shirt that I wanted to show you, we were calling this one the rare one because this is the one that they did not have available online for starters. It was only available in select stores and the stores only received one box of these each. So luckily I was able to get them for folks that wanted them. However, now they are available online, but again, they might sell out of your size before this video goes out. So this is the rare shirt. This one is a light blue shirt. And on the front of it, we have a full color manga print of each of the inner Sailor Senshi. It says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon on the side. It's kind of hard to tell, but I'll try to get a close up of this. Each of the Sailor Senshi's planet symbols is in a silver, kind of shiny font, uh, right at the top, tip top of the full color print. I thought it was very pretty. This is definitely one of my favorite shirts, along with the one of the Silver Millennium uh, Royals, I will say. Uh, so I really like this one, and I've already worn it a couple of times, and I got some compliments, so a very nice shirt. So as you can see as I was wearing these, they're definitely baggy shirts. They're really big outwards, and they're really short inwards. <laughs> so if you are a long torso type of person like I am, these might end up showing a bit of your belly, which I'm not super comfortable comfortable with. I tend to wear high top jeans or high top shorts with these and then I will tuck them in and that seems to make them look a little bit better. I've also noticed that if you fold up the sleeves 
on both of the sides. That also makes them look a little bit more trendier and a little bit more put together in a fashion sense. So let me know if you bought any of these Uniglo shirts. I definitely bought all eight, as you could tell, and I really like the prints on them. I hope that Uniglo does another collaboration with Sailor Moon in the future. I think that would be amazing. Comment below and tell me which one was your absolute favorite design out of all of these eight shirts and let me know again if you had purchased any of them. Don't forget to subscribe and like for all of my future videos. I have tons coming out and I also have some giveaways currently going on so I would love if you were able to join those. Check out the links below for those giveaways and all the information about them and don't forget to like and subscribe. Again, my name is Sailor Snubs and I will see you next time. Ciao!